So gather your ingredients for brewing. This is what you'll need. Uh, to start, you'll need about three quarter cups to one cup of sugar. I use organic fair trade granulated cane sugar as I find that it's the easiest for the SCOBY to break down and it makes the best tasting kombucha. You can also use uh, coconut sugar or brown sugar, although I honestly haven't had much success with these in the past. Um, they don't seem to sustain the mother quite as long as granulated cane sugar does. Uh, the sugar and the caffeine in the tea are just food for the kombucha culture anyway, so most of it's actually used up in the fermentation process and it means that very little is actually left over in the actual tea that you'll be drinking. Um, but you should avoid using raw honey because it contains its own types of bacteria that are different from the kombucha's bacteria. If the cultures for, of the bacteria from the honey are introduced to your kombucha culture, it can throw off the ba balance of the mother. Um, do not use stevia though, as it cannot be broken down by the SCOBY. You'll also need about six to eight um, tea bags. I use organic green or organic black tea. You'll need about one cup of starter liquid as well, so that's just the liquid that's left over from your previous batch. Um, if, but if this is your first time making kombucha, you can also buy unflavored and unpasteurized kombucha from a store, um, such as GT's kombucha. Uh, you'll also need about 10 to 15 cups of boiled or purified water. You'll need the kombucha scoby, and you'll also need some flavoring um, ingredients, so like ginger or fresh fruit, and also some uh, apple cider vinegar for cleaning up the jars and just sanitizing it. These are the things you'll need for storing and making your kombucha. Um, you'll need a clean pot for boiling water and combining the sugar and the tea. A cheesecloth or coffee filters to cover the mouths of the jars. I had a fruit fly contamination and I found that the coffee filter works best to keep the critters out. You'll need a rubber band to secure the cheesecloth or coffee filter. And of course you'll need some glass gallon jars. Um, and you'll need some glass growlers or other tightly sealing bottles or jars.